Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It is time for another 2 in 22 Pan That Palette update. And it did take me three tries to get that right. Surprisingly difficult. So it's been a while since the last update and I've got quite a bit of progress. So I actually finished my first full shade and we've got some new pans to talk about. So let's run the slideshow for the Naked Palette first. So this is the palette now, very, very exciting. We used up this whole shade, mainly using it as just um, a setting powder for my uh, eyeshadow primer, because I use eyeshadow primer every day for my hooded lids. And I kind of thought I finished this before now, but not yet. So we've got most of the shade here, the booty call shade, completely used up. So I'm hoping by the next update, that'll be totally empty, but we've got a good amount of pan there. Um, as for the rest of the shades, it's torn between like YDK, I think, is that Y2K? Is it YDK or Y2K? The, the names have actually like worn off. I need to look. I lied, it's Verb. <laughs> so Verb has a good dip in it. Um, so I think that might be the next one to hit pan. That or the gold shade over there, Half Baked. Is it Half Baked? I was right, it is Half Baked. So Half Baked has a good dip and so does Verve. So it's gonna be one of those two. I've really liked combining those with the Yes Please palette, which is why I've gotten such great use out of them. Um, but other than that, other than using the black shadow, though I haven't been using it as much recently because I've been using a product from my other project pan, my Petty Project Pan. If you missed that update, I'll throw it up in the cards. But it has a black eyeliner pencil and I've been using that in my brows. So I've been using this a little bit less in my brows. But overall, I mean, not terrible progress. So I'm still reaching for this. I'm glad that I picked this one. Oh, I just, I heard a wiggle. One of them is loose again. Um, but I'm glad I'm using this. I'm getting great use out of it. And I'm actually shocked at how much I like combining shades from here with the Yes Please. I didn't think I would get as much of an interplay. I thought it'd be a little bit more difficult to kind of mix and match shades, but I'm actually really happy with it. So that's progress on the Naked 2. Let's go ahead and run the slideshow for the Yes Please. Here is the palette now, looking much grotier, <laughs> a lot messier, um, but we do have a lot of pan here. Again, this was the lightest shade. I was using this to, once again, set my eye primer. Um, I kind of thought I would hit pan in this shade. I've been using this both all over the lid and also as an inner corner highlight and a brow highlight, and it's pretty squishy, and I thought I would hit pan, but not quite. Um, other than that, like my go-to shades have been like this, kind, these kind of orangey shades for like a nice deep orange look, which is mostly what I'm wearing today. Um, and, you know, I'm surprisingly, like, I like these two shimmers down here, using them in my crease with the orange look. I didn't think I would like it as much, but I really do. Uh, so that's the progress here. Like I said, two things are kind of shocking me about this one in particular. A is that I haven't hit pan in one of the shimmers yet. I kind of thought I would hit pan by now, but We've got time, we've got time. And B, I love yellow, but I have not been reaching for this yellow that much. I think it's because I'm trying to work looks using both of these palettes and the yellow kind of sticks out. Uh, like with every other shade in here, I can kind of mix it with, a, with like looks from the other palette, but the yellow kind of sticks out. I think the only way that I've really used it is like combining it with the gold and then like this deep kind of mac and cheesy color in order to make a look and it, it wasn't the best. So I, that's kind of surprised me that I'm not reaching for the yellow as much as I thought I would, but still, I mean, I am making progress. It's just not as much progress in this one as I thought it would be. Now, part of me is kind of already fantasizing about depotting both of these palettes and just making one big like Z palette kind of thing. Eventually I'm going to do that. I don't want to do that just yet. I feel like we're still towards the beginning of the project. I think more like halfway at the halfway point this summer, I'm going to do that. I'm going to depot both of these and just make one big palette to work from instead, especially once we get to the point where I want to start making some Franken shadows. So I think I definitely want to depot before we get into the Franken shadow process. But overall, you know, early March, I don't think we're in a bad place. We've got quite a few pans already. I'm using them just about every day getting some good use out of them. They look beat up, <laughs> which is good. I like seeing well-used makeup. So I think we're, we're doing okay, I would say. 
So that is it for this 2 and 22 Pan That Palette update. If you are panning a palette or two in 2022, let me know down below how that's going, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.